Hello friends, my name is James. And this is my 1965 Alberg 30 Sloop Tritea. We are on a mission to sail around the world and see as much of this beautiful planet as possible. We are currently working our way through the South Pacific and I can't wait to show you everything we see. So the yacht club was closed, but I was still able to tie up and lock up my dinghy and they had doors open so you could get out to the street. Um, and I passed a gentleman that worked there and he didn't say anything about me not using the dinghy dock. So um, we're going to make our way into town. It's a, maybe a mile or so, two miles or something walk. And it's beautiful out. So all over the South Pacific so far, I've seen these cool boat lifts. Some of them in the more rural areas are very homemade, made out of just sticks and trees. These ones are a little more sophisticated, but they're still very simple. It's just like a big wheel that they just turn by hand and it pulls these boats up. I'd love to see someone raising and lowering one. It's amazing that you can do that with just that simple mechanism, a heavy ass boat. I like the way they look too, it's cool. sailboat with no mast <laughs> in one of those boat lifts very funny so I'm in the little village town area it's pretty busy <clears throat> there's a big cruise ship off anchored off too so that might be part of it the mountain's stunning here So according to this chart, there is free anchoring here. You can only stay for 36 hours at a stretch. But it also seems that it only applies to boats 33 feet to 66 feet. Which means that, I don't know what that means. Maybe that means that I can anchor for longer or in different spots. 
I, I wouldn't imagine that if I actually get in touch with someone that knows the answers that they're gonna give me the correct answer. I just went in town hall. I went to the tourist board. They didn't know. I went in town hall. They didn't know. Um, so I'll probably call this number and talk to someone over there and see what's up. But I think tonight I'll move over and try to anchor at this spot because it's free and um, go from there. So just as the American told me earlier, the gentleman from the Bora Bora Mooring Services came by in his Tinder. And um, <clears throat> first thing, his name's Moana, really nice dude. First thing he asked me was, how long's your boat? I said, it's nine meters, 30 feet. And he was like, awesome. He was like, you don't have to stay on the mooring balls. He was like, you can anchor in any of the designated mooring fields for free. Um, which is exactly the loophole I thought I had found on the info from the sign in town and stuff. But I was like, there's no way that there's gonna be a loophole. But he was like, and he even said, if they were really busy and all the moorings were full, he would have to ask me to clear off of it because the boat is actually under 10 meters. Cause boats over 10 meters are not allowed to anchor and I'm allowed to anchor, <clears throat> which is fantastic, fantastic news. Um, cause I cannot afford to stay here more than a couple nights at $33 a night. And so he said, okay, what are your plans? And I was like, well, I had seen the coordinates for free zones of anchoring where you can free, you can anchor for 36 hours in these free zones, two of them. One of them is decent. It's on a coral bed. It's a pretty small area, but only five boats are allowed in that zone and you can only anchor for 36 hours. And the other zone is like 70 feet deep. And so I was like, I was gonna go to this other free zone because I found the map. And he's like, okay, he was like, he was like, and that's when he told me you can anchor in any of the mooring fields. Um, and he pointed out one uh, just off of this island over here. He said, that's the best one you're gonna find. Like it's, it's really good anchoring. You can find a good patch of sand. There's wonderful snorkeling. He was like, that's the, he was like, if I was going out to anchor for the night, that's where I would go. But he was like, you can go to any of these spots though. And um, he looked over the map with me and he was like, okay. And so he was like, what's your plans though? And I was like, I wanna stay here. I stayed here last night. I got in yesterday and I wanna spend the night tonight. And he's like, okay, let's just say you were here one night. I was like, okay. And he was like, yeah, you know, cruise around. And then he said, he gave me a receipt and he said, keep the receipt. And if the cops come up and like hassle you cause you're anchored, you show them the receipt. And if there's any problems, have them call me immediately. Um, super cool dude super stoked and uh so it's all settled i'm staying the night here and then i'm gonna go over to that other anchorage and anchor for a few days get some snorkeling in and uh then i might cruise around to another mooring field and anchor it's like rare that small boats have such advantages so i'm pretty stoked that having a little boat paid off here at bora bora and the notorious anchor ban so wonderful news and thanks so much Moana, super nice dude, and I'm excited to relax now, knowing that it's all taken care of. Okay, so for the last, I don't know, week or so, the boat has started smelling really funky. And it's coming from the anchor locker. I don't have a spray down, especially if I had a water maker, I could have a fresh water spray down to rinse the chain as it came up. I do not have that option. So, 
like you know all the living matter in the sea or even seaweed and stuff come up on the chain the mud gets the anchor locker it makes it super super rank so i'm going to pull it all out on the deck let it dry out and then we're going to spray clean it with something that's okay eco-friendly but uh the first job is to pull it all out and get it laid out on the deck which is handy that i can do it here because we're tied to a mooring so it's a little more convenient so let's knock out that little boat project The chain laid out on the starboard side is the side we really need to clean. Everything on the port side doesn't really get used um, and it's not dirty. Uh, there's a little bit, I'll probably just rinse it, but all this stuff has like marine growth on it that's come up from the seafloor and stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and knock that out, get it scrubbed up and uh, we'll just let it dry out overnight on the deck. Maybe some rains will come and rinse it and then first thing tomorrow morning we'll restow all the chain um which will be a trick solo uh we'll speed it down i'll have to do it a little bit and climb in and out and climb in and out so that you can lay it in a spool so it doesn't create a mountain um but it's good to get this chore knocked out while we're on a mooring and it's easy so time to get to work Time to untie from the moorings here at Bora Bora Yacht Club Mooring Field. <clears throat> and we're gonna head off to the free anchorage spot here in Bora Bora, which is a zone that, <clears throat> one of only two zones where anyone can anchor at under a certain size. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just on the north edge of the reef inside the lagoon. So let's get untied and head over that way and, and check out that anchorage. We're about half a mile from this free anchorage spot. I laid out the coordinates that show the space of the anchorage on Navionics, so 
We're just pointing for that zone. It doesn't look like anyone's anchored there, which I'm not surprised about because most people think you can't anchor, so. But it's probably blowing 15 knots. So be a little tricky. Mostly tricky because you can't, it messes up the viz, you know? So I can't see if there's any coral, you know, you would think they would put this outline, this very small anchorage in a spot that wasn't heavily ridden with coral, but you never know. But that's a bummer, is I won't be able to kind of see where I'm dropping the hook. I'm just gonna have to watch the depth and go from there. It's supposed to be like 20 feet of water. So, I don't know. Won't know till we get over it. And um, the hook will set real quick with the wind once we get, get the chain out. So, find out real soon. Okay, as of this moment, we're within the zone. So now we're gonna kind of creep up in this scary teal green color water and see the depths. Right now it's 90 feet. We're anchored in 10 feet of water. We have five scope out with floated chain. There's coral bombies kind of everywhere. The one I'm a little nervous about is there's one there that could be a problem if the wind shifts. And if it is, then we'll haul up and move chain spots. That one looks very shallow. But that's the problem coming in here with the wind like this, it's hard to see. Coral, coral, see our float. The fishermen out here. So yeah, this is the free anchorage. Beautiful view. It's kind of protected from the, with the Motu or maybe there's just not gusting right now, but the winds feel less than they were on the passage over. And when the clouds blow off, the landscape's gonna be crazy.
It has been a very, very breezy afternoon here at the Free Zone. I don't know the real name of this anchorage. Um, I'll probably make one up and just put it on this screen right now. <clears throat> or if I can find the name of the anchorage. Um, been very breezy. And the winds are supposed to increase. They're supposed to get up to like 22 knots tonight. And um, they're going to continue to increase. We're very exposed. See Taha in the distance. Um, there's not much to do here. The main reason I came to this spot is so I could see it, know what it was all about. That way I could tell everybody, anyone who's coming here, what to expect because it was very difficult to even find out about this anchorage. So, I think tomorrow morning I'll probably haul up, drive back around, and there's um, a good anchorage behind this island near to where we started out at Bora Bora Yacht Club. And that's what um, Moana, he had told me that's a really great spot. <clears throat> and it looks really protected from the wind direction that's happening. So that's probably what we'll do in the morning, haul up. So just here, spend the night, know what it's all about. <clears throat> and it is a beautiful scene, but it has been very, very windy. Make sure you tune in next week when I explore the turquoise waters of Bora Bora's Lagoon. If you enjoy the content on this channel and would like to contribute, you can consider joining the Patreon crew. Thanks for watching, fair winds until next time.